Ashley on Dirty Laundry. I don't know what the two of you have brewing here, but nobody is interested. But she's seen something. I don't care. I do not care what she's seen, what she's divined, what she's ouija The commissioner took the word of this three-card Monty mystic and threw out my entire investigation. Now, I know that Tina Timpson had something to do with this, and she had no alibi until this person came out of the woodwork. It's preposterous. I don't see why they keep coming here. I hate these stupid machines. It's appearances, baby. It's all about appearances. We want the citizens of Cedar Falls to see us as local folk who mingle and share with the community, don't we? That's a slow job. Nobody is listening. But they are listening. I mean, didn't you see the polls the pay, in the paper this morning? I mean, we're in the lead. My so-called attorney turned Judas and gave Blanche a counter-restraining order against me. I'd rather not run into her at the laundromat. I still don't understand how that nasty, slimy little guy can have a restraining order out against me, little me. I can't even set one itsy bitsy lacky loopin' little piggy toe inside that long left for fear of bumping into him. breaking your restraining order. Oh, I was here first. There is absolutely no reason in the world why I should have to leave. You are the one who has no business here. Therefore, I suggest you just turn around and take your serving class, honey, back to wherever you came from. I'm not going back, Blanche. You should have realized that by now. I'm my own person. I'm filthy rich at that. And I want you and your insignificant causes out of my life. Go to hell, gal. I have. But fortunately, I acquired the means of leaving your employment. <laughs> I have had just about as much as I'm going to take. Join oh, the club. <gasps> oh, did, did you hear did you, did you, yeah, something? It sounded like someone moaning. What were they by the washing machine? Oh, God almighty. That's the same place that Mel was killed. What if this ghost come back to haunt us? What if he's come back looking for revenge? What if we walk over there and look? No, I'm not going first. Pathetic. God, it's Larry. Oh my God, Larry, is he, is he? Dead? No, Blanche. Dead people do not moan. Oh, thank God. I'll call for an ambulance. Hello, yes, yes, this is Blanche, Rhinestone. Yes, it'd be Rhinestone, yes. And, yes, well, I know I'm here at the state and spend a lot of money. There's been some horrible kind of accident. Yes, and we are in dire need of an ambulance. And the address is 24 Long. Oh, you 
you know the address? Oh, yes, that's right, of course. You would never murder me if I asked, wouldn't you, Bill? <laughs> oh, yes. No, no, I'm absolutely sure. This time, he's not dead. But he's not looking too good, let me tell you. I have seen slaughterhouses for the residents that stood a better chance than this does, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and do you know who it is? Oh, yes, 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 Larry Alcala. Yes, that dear, sweet laundry clerk. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I know he's not much of a guitar player, honey, but he has a house. Well, just last fall, he was all set to give everything he had to my charity. God's sakes, Blanche, will you let the dispatcher send the ambulance? How dare you talk to me like that, Giles? Well, stop your dawdling and get that ambulance over here. Has he said anything yet? No, nothing. Larry. Hey, Larry. Can you hear me? Well, what happened to him? Looks like he's been beaten up pretty bad. Who would beat up Larry? I don't know. The place doesn't appear to have been robbed. You mean that, that someone was out to get Larry? Apparently. And whoever it was almost succeeded. <laughs> that is very interesting, Sergeant. Very. That could, could you have? Do you have those documents handy? Could you fax them to me right away? Oh, that would be. That I couldn't begin to tell you what a break this is for my investigation. No, no. Uh, our Mr. Haynes is being quite evasive. Uh, he's in. Uh, he's in Europe on business. He's not close with his brother, so they don't keep in contact. Uh, I don't know. But but this, this is terrific. This, this is just the break that I needed. I think this will tie up some loose ends once and for all. Oh, no question about it. I really appreciate your help in this matter, sir. Now, you have the fax number? That's, that's the one. Yes. If you could fax that to me right away, that would be just great. I owe you big. Fine. Thank you very much, Sergeant. Uh, same to you. Bye. Well. One down, two to go. Badesco. Hey, I thought you might like to know we just received a 911 call from the uh, sit and spin. Apparently there's been some sort of trouble. They requested an ambulance. Do you want me to go down and uh, check it out? No, no. You and Watts got the last one. I want this one. Uh, thanks a lot, Detective. I owe you one. Uh, not a problem. Later. Yep. This is a day that will soon not be forgotten, Cedar Falls. Today we will see if the citizens of this town are ready to accept the challenge. A challenge of new hope, fresh ideas, and a new regime that's in tune with the common Joe. That's right, darling. My husband here stands for everything that should be right in this town. We found a home here. We want to build a family here, but that family begins with the United Community. Tim Timpson will be the next mayor of Cedar Falls. Mr. Timpson, the polls show you in the lead, but you are only ahead of Mayor Newell by a few points. This race seems too close to call before the final ballot is counted. Uh, uh, no, actually quite the contrary. We feel that more and more people are seeing the light and will make the choice for one of promise and a more brighter and prosperous future. Mr. Timpson, word has just come over to police scanner that trouble has resurfaced at the sit and spin laundromat. The word is that more violence has occurred. At least we know we didn't do it. Well, how could we? I mean, we have a great alibi this time, don't we? Well, uh, um, um, well, this unfortunate news is another example of the current regime's lack of regard for the problem of violence in this community. Mayor Newell should be ashamed, and the people of Cedar Falls should show their outrage accordingly. I, as mayor, can promise that such acts of violence will not be tolerated. In fact, I can guarantee it. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some close personal friends associated, associated with this laundromat, and we'd like to be assured of their well-being. Thank you very much. What's going on here? 
I have no idea. This has nothing to do with us. Well, could it be something Malcolm cooked up? Well, it, something like this doesn't seem like his style. I couldn't see how that could happen. Well, maybe it's about liking for violence. After all, he has been spending a lot of time with you. All right, all right. Well, let's just go see what the problem is then, shall we? All right. What's going on? What's with the ambulance? Are you telling me that you don't know? Guess that takes one off the list. No what? What list? Seems to be there was another accident. What did you do? Did you beat up Blanche? She looks okay to me. Oh, you idiot. It's Larry. He's on the floor over there, unconscious or something. But wait a minute. If you're telling me that Blanche beat up Larry? Jeez. I knew he was a wimp, but I thought he could take Blanche. Listen, it does not seem that Blanche did this. As a matter of fact, she was quite oblivious to the whole situation when I first arrived. Hold on a second. You two aren't even supposed to be in the same room. What about those restraining orders? Listen, you better get out of here before the cops get here. I would gladly oblige, but Blanche happened to use my name during the emergency call. The last thing that I need is that freaky detective hunting me down, thinking I had something to do with this. I didn't, did I? Uh, no, no, of course you didn't. Listen, Larry's a loser, but the world's full of him. He was no threat to our plans. Although, he might come in handy. Sounds good, but I don't care for the violence. Jeez. He doesn't look too good. I hope he had a chance to do my laundry. Well, gentlemen, looks like we have a um, situation here. Hey, we're all just innocent bystanders here, detective. Mm, you always are, Mr. Abacus. It's just amazing how clean you keep your hands. Makes me wonder who does your dirty work. Well, actually, that would be Larry. I bring my laundry here all the time. In fact, I just dropped off a bundle here this morning. Mm -hmm. And did you see anything unusual? As a matter of fact, I did. Larry got a jelly stain on my wife's white rayon blouse that I left here yesterday. <laughs> Very amusing. What I mean is, did you see anything wrong? Uh, was Mr. Alkali standing upright and not covered with blood and gashes when you left? Well, I do have an alibi. But for the record, yes, Larry was alive and kicking when I left the laundromat. He was getting his palm read by that crazy psychic woman. I guess his future didn't look too good. Cassandra was here this morning when you left? If she dresses funny, talks with an accent, and peddles predictions, that's her. Mm. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Alicus. You've been very helpful. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to take care of some business with Blanche. And, uh, Mr. Giles, what are you doing here? Well, this may be a stretch, but I came here to drop off my laundry. Oh, very amusing. What I mean is, as I understand it, there's a restraining order against you taken out by Mrs. Rhinestone, so you're just purposefully breaking the law. Listen, for the record, I also have a restraining order, one against Blanche. And she was just on her way out when we came across Larry. I felt it was my civic duty to remain at the scene until the authorities arrived. Mm, and so you did. Did you notice anybody else here? No, uh, the laundromat was empty except for Blanche and myself. Oh, and Larry, technically. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Giles. Listen, Blanche, I realize the time you couldn't be any worse. I just have to take care of a couple formalities. I swear, filling out these forms takes up half my life. Malcolm, I just don't think that I can concentrate on any of that gobbledygook right now. And uh, Larry's lying over there like a dead dog left out in the sun to rot on the side of the road. I know, Blanche. I know. It's just that these simple account verification forms need to be processed today. I would have chosen a more opportune time otherwise. Oh. Oh. Oh, I understand, Malcolm. And I suppose that anything that gets... Giles, so sort of poverty should be my top priority. <laughs> so true, Blanche. So true. Mm -hmm. Hail, hail the gang's all here. What's going on? What's, what, what the hell is happening here? Who's dead? No one's dead. Larry just got beat up, that's all. Oh, oh God, I thought I was going to be the town skip through it again. Well, like I said, honey, the stories are clean. I mean, the story could not have come at a better time. Larry's beating was a great opportunity for me to take a position against the mayor's stand on crime. I mean, it's just timed out perfectly with my photo op at the polling place. You just have to love Larry's time, you know? Oh, yeah. Is he conscious? Can, um, can you make a statement? Because the reporters are right outside. Unfortunately, he hasn't come to yet. Well, hopefully he'll regain consciousness and make a statement before the polls close. Never mind that. The guy's probably got internal bleeding. 
tell where I did. You get the team to die. No, well, every little bit helps. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Good old Larry. He actually came through for us. We'll have to give him an invite to the inaugural ball. Yeah, that's an idea. And that is when I called for an ambulance. But when you came into the laundromat and there was nobody here, you didn't find that odd? So I, I found it odd. Well, I, I, when I walked in, I just did a little, Yoo-hoo, Larry! I know but I answered, and I, and I just... I just thought he stepped out for a moment. Thank you, Mrs. Reinstein. Uh, you've been very helpful. Is that your bag? <laughs> oh, that got a thing, heaven no. What is it, a discount after five o'clock? What are you doing back here? I got one of my bags. What's going on? The other psychic, you tell me. Oh, what happened here? Why would somebody beat up on Larry? Geez, well, that's why we're hanging out, trying to find that out. What's with the bag? Would you come back to collect evidence? No. I had a tea leaf reading at four o'clock. My laundry was not quite done yet. Larry said he would look after it and put it in the bag when it was done. I left it with him. Detective, we're ready to move the body now. All right, yeah, uh, take him. I'm just going to finish up here. Thank you. Okay. Let's get out of here and talk to those reporters. You look great when you come to the body out. Tina here. Look distressed. Let's go. Hey, Larry. How you doing? Well, am I dead? No, you're not dead, and I'm not Mel. It's me, Calvin. Calvin? Where am I? You're in the hospital, kid. You got beat up from what the police told me. I was on the way home from the airport, and you know, I just stopped because of all the commotion. Airport? Don't you remember? I told you I was going to be out of town on business for a couple of days. I told you to keep your ears open for any, like, you know, new developments. Oh, I don't feel so good. Lie back and relax, will you? Just lie back. You've been through an awful lot. Do uh, you have any idea who, uh, who did this to you? No. It all happened too fast. I don't remember so much. I do know that person had a mask on, so well, I don't know who it was. That's, uh, that's, that's too bad. That's, uh, that's too bad. Say, do you know what time it is? It's a little past 11 o'clock at night. Tim, the election. All right, all right, take it easy. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy. I'll turn on the TV for you. Your voice has been heard and your community has responded. We will lead this town into a bright future that does not tolerate violence, a future that does not convict the innocent, and will allow the guilty to walk free, and one that does not settle for comfort, but rather relishes in a positive change. Myself and Malcolm, oh, and my wife, Tina, thank you for the support, and we welcome the challenge. Looks like uh, your friend won the election. In national news, NASA has announced today that the next space shuttle mission has been postponed due to the mysterious death of one of the mission's crew members. Sid Hardwater, the janitorial services engineer, was found dead earlier today at his beachfront apartment. Apparently, Mr. Hardwater was beaten to death with a blunt object. No further information will be released until a full autopsy is performed. The police department in Daytona has reported that they have no leads at this time. You're a lucky bastard. But the man was found beaten to death before his trial. 
Mr. Haynes' arrest had not enough substantial evidence to warrant a trial. He was released from Gordon County Prison in October. <laughs> Ooh, you've been a bad boy, Mr. Haynes. 